Hey guys, Tor from Tor Arts Movie here and today I'm so excited because today I'm gonna be reviewing a very very cool third party plugin for After Effects from Video Copilot called Element 3D. So maybe some of you guys already know about Element 3D and I just bought it like two days ago and I'm already really excited about this, about this software as you can see here. Um, uh, this is a jet plan. All of this is uh, um, modeled in a 3D software of course but then you can import it in After Effects using Element 3D and then you can animate, animate all of this inside After Effects and then render it inside After Effects. So this is a 720p video with uh, 10 seconds as you can see here 10 seconds 720p videos and it renders with only uh, 2 minutes. 2 minutes for God's sake. Uh, this realistic result like you were um, rendering with V-Ray HDRI if you're using 3ds Max and all of this is only using After Effects as you can see here we get a reflection of the clouds here and there because we are using HDRI environment with this uh, rendering but this is so fast because this is um, like OpenGL rendering so it's like more like a game you know like a game and uh, yeah it rendered really fast as you can see here if you ram preview this it's so fast no lag and oh my god and is this a half resolution and if we change it into full resolution and try to ram preview as you can see here it's quite fast I mean this is 3d with trap code particular to trap code particular actually and then also I'm recording right now and look at that ram preview it's so freaking fast and uh, also I turn off the uh, adapt adaptive resolution so this is the final resolution here and uh, we are ramp previewing so freaking fast so it's in full resolution so it's like we're rendering uh, if we want to render it out so yeah as you can see here so freaking fast like like a wind like 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 a tornado like like Barry Allen all right so <laughs> So Element 3D for me is like the Chuck Norris of all of the um, third-party plugin for After Effects. This is crazy. This is a game-changing and oh my god, Andrew Kramer, I I, I love you. No homo though. All right, so um, today I'm gonna be uh, showing you the interface of Element 3D. So um, we're gonna turn off the particular um, the lights and uh, also the camera. And I'll turn off the background also. So this is just the element 3D. And uh, uh, we're gonna go to here element 3D and the scene setup. If you click this, and we're gonna go inside element 3D interface. And now, as you can see here, we got the jet plan right here. And this is the environment, which is HDRI environment. And we can turn it off or turn it on. We can change it um, by clicking here environment. Look at that! You can change it to anywhere you, uh, anything you want, and uh, yeah, any picture you want, you can change it to become the environment of the 3D object. And we can zoom in here. Look and uh, look at that! You can even see the pilot right there. <laughs> That's really cool. So, um, the great thing about this Element 3D is uh, you can import a 3D object and you can import it right here but when you import it the 3d object will be all white and you can uh, you will have to um, uh, uh, import the texture yourself it, it takes time but after that it's just really really freaking fast and the, the craziest thing about this is you can save your uh, 3d model inside the um, m3 so all you're gonna do is right click right here and save L as model model preset and as you can see here, right over here, I already have a bunch of presets that I saved. Um, uh, let's say I'm just gonna delete this uh, plane and then I'm just gonna click this car right here and there you go, that's the car. With HDRI environment as you can see here, so it gets, it's got a reflection from uh, clouds and etc. Really, really cool. And uh, also, there's another car. Camaro, the black one here, and uh, yeah, and I get even Son Goku Super Saiyan 3. <laughs> uh, it's just for the test. Also, PS3, anything, by the way. So, that is Element 3D. Alright, so, um, um, also, I got this interesting, uh, let me see, preview here, 
and uh... alright guys so here is the another example for element 3d and as you can see here we got a t-rex this is a 3d t-rex as you can see here and uh, it all inside after effects as, as uh, now I'm gonna uh, rotate it around and uh, it's previewing in real time inside after effects and then um, yeah so this is the element 3d as you can see here uh, scene setup and uh, this is the t-rex object and we import it inside element 3d and then um, yeah it works fine so um, in element 3d of course you can't animate like um, t-rex here you can't uh, you know you can't have some bones like you have in 3d series make so it will like a statue like so but uh, you can do uh, like a BBC type of stuff like you know if you want to um, like uh, Discovery Channel you know um, about T-Rex and etc you can do do it just inside After Effects if you don't want the T-Rex to be moving you can just actually import it to After Effects and uh, do everything in After Effects why because it's gonna render really fast and then it's another example this is a skeleton version of the T-Rex as you can see here so fast so fast and another example is the car as the Martin like you saw in my previous video um, element 3d test is a car with a loss of polygon and uh, it's really really fast as you can see here and even it's got nice shadow below it and uh, to, to create one you can actually go to um, 3d see the setup and then you're gonna go to primitives and you will find a plan you can use that as a matte shadow so this is the plan go down here and set the matte shadow you can you can watch the tutorial at videocopilot.net um, uh, Andrew Kramer already explained about all of this thing it's so cool so freaking cool as you can see here oh god and it's another example this is a jet as you can see here in my previous video too this is a jet all of it is on element 3d inside of after effects i mean oh my god i can't even say how cool this uh plugin is it's just so game changing all right guys so that it that's it uh that's um that's a preview of element 3d hope you guys excited about it i'm excited about it uh, because so oh my god if, uh, just just think about it for example this clip here um if you want to do this in 3D Studios Max. You have to um, animate all of this in 3D Studios Max and then render it um, with the camera onto After Effects. Maybe you, if you want to achieve this uh, realistic result, you have to render it as V-Ray with V-Ray, which is a third-party plugin in uh, 3D Studios Max, and it render kind of long um, to make something like this. Maybe it's gonna render about 30 or 40 minutes. Um, which HD with HD 720p like this and 10 seconds video with a 24 frame per second it's gonna render around like 30 to 40 minutes but in After Effects it will render only like 2 to 3 minutes if you don't if you don't believe me I'm just gonna do it right now with I'm recording by the way which is um, it's gonna take the RAM uh, out of After Effects but uh, we're gonna try that so Control M to render that um, oh yeah, I'm recording right now, so I can uh, press Ctrl M. So go to composition, uh, add to render queue, and uh, set the lossless here. Change it to like H.264, which is we're gonna be MP4 format. Click OK, and uh, we're gonna output to anywhere I want here. Save, and we're gonna click render, and you you're gonna see the um, as you can see here, uh, elapsed time three seconds. Oh my god, three seconds. 8 seconds, 9 seconds. So you can see how fast that is. 1 minute. Estimate remaining 1 minute. So, uh, elapse is, oh, this elapsed time. So, this is the remaining time. 1 minute. It's not 2 minutes, like I said. It's 1 minute, for God's sake. 720p, 10 seconds, rendered only 1 minute. And I'm recording, recording right now. Oh my God. As you can see here, this is the craziness about <laughs> Element 3D. Alright, so guys, Tarfantar Arts Movie, and see you in, in the next cool videos and tutorials. Ciao!